and welcome back to Pop Square. My name is Bill. It's officially Friday. Can you believe it? I'm so happy. I'm so excited. So definitely today I'm gonna go get some milk tea and enjoy my weekend. I hope you will too. So this is your first time joining the stream. I will give you all what I do in the live streams, go over what's going on in the K-pop world. So what can you be anticipating and what can you be looking forward to? But as always, to keep up to date on when videos are released or also when we go live, Please be sure to click subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out and turn on the notification bell. But also go over to our website, highpop.com. The link is there down below in the description for you guys. So you can be kept up to date on what news are happening in the K-pop world. Alright, so let's get started. Let's start off with BTS, Bangtan Sayodan. So there's quite a lot of things happening for them. So, of course, they're on their world tour right now. But they're actually going to be making a stop in New York City, not only for their tour, but they're going to be appearing on Good Morning America and they're going to be on the Fallon Show and the biggest one you guys is going to be they're going to be going to the United Nations headquarters in New York so what are they going to do there you're asked so they're actually going to be making a three minute speech in regard towards the launch for the Generation Unlimited program with UNICEF so that program is supposed to be helping for those who are aged like from 10 to 24 or like that young generation the younger individuals to help them give them an education and prepare them for entering the working force and also just provide them like general education. So that's really big and that's really crazy because they're the first ever Korean music group to ever be invited and to speak at the United Nations Assembly. So in the past, Kim Yuna or Yuna Kim, the Olympic figure skater from South Korea, she was invited to make a speech at the United Nations headquarters but not at the assembly itself. So again, that is such a huge accomplishment and if you don't know, BTS has worked together with UNICEF roughly since last year because they are having a two-year campaign called Love Myself. So it's a, it is an anti-violence campaign to promote no more violence and it is a two-year program where they actually had promised to donate 500 million won and also provide 3% of physical album sales from the Love Yourself series over to this campaign and at this time they made over 1 million dollar US, US US 1 million dollars in donation at this time so it's still growing and again they are going to be providing their 3% album sales and if you follow along the chart how well they are doing with their album sales especially for Love Yourself series and most recent for love yourself answer they're doing extremely well so you can already be anticipating that by the time the campaign is over there's going to be numerous donations going for this campaign so again congratulations to bts on this huge huge achievement for their career but also making a difference in the world again they are going to be appearing at the united nations headquarters in new york city that is on september 24th on monday and if you want to actually follow along you can there are going to be live streams available for fans to watch then make this big historic moment again at the United Nations. And then they are going to be appearing at Good Morning America on September 26th and also at the Fallon Show, Jimmy Fallon Show, to the Tonight Show on December, no, September 25th. Again, all this information will be down below in the description for you guys, but congratulations to BTS. I hope you have a lot of fun and good luck because speaking at the United Nations is not going to be easy, but I know you guys are going to do well. All right. And the last piece I'm going to mention about BTS is that Yonggi Suga, he actually surprised fans this morning with a gift. He surprised fans with a remix of Seesaw and also I Need You. So if you haven't heard it, go over to SoundCloud, go over to BTS official, BTS official SoundCloud account and listen to the song. The link will be down below for you guys and let me tell you, it is amazing. It's beautiful. You guys have to check it out. All right, move over to the next news. Comebacks that have already happened. Let's start off with WJSN and Cosmic Girls. So their album, WJ Please, is officially released at this time. So that means the title track for the music video is out at this time as well. So Save Me, Save You is our title track. Let's take a quick moment to watch the music video right here. Down below, tell me what do you think about this music video? So again, remember they are down by three members to a confliction of schedule, but I do have to say though that they are still going very strong with their promotions, and they did kind of mention before that it was kind of difficult to be filming and doing the promotions without these three members. Not necessarily that they couldn't finish the work, but it's more in regarding towards that they definitely do feel 
a missing gap in the group because they are down by three members. So when they're doing their photo shoot, their music video filming, you can definitely feel that there's a member that's missing. But I'm pretty sure that these three members, that no matter where they are, like they are promoting in China right now, but during their schedule time, wherever they're going, and also the members that are promoting at this time, they are continuing to support each other. So I hope you will as well give your love and support for WJSN as they're going on through promotions right now with WJ, please. And then now, another girl group that is back at this time is Dreamcatcher. So Dreamcatcher is officially back with their third mini album, Alone in the City. So their title track, What? The music video is out at this time. So take a quick moment to watch it right here. So Dreamcatcher is continuing on with that concept that we all know and love, that big rock concept and girl crush image. So Dreamcatcher, I feel like that this is definitely their genre because this is what they're sticking with. And let me know what you think about it. So I definitely do like that they aren't going with like this, they're not going with the scary vibe anymore like what they did for Nightmare, the Nightmare um, album series. They're going a little bit more of what we say, like a modern kind of image, but I feel like they're gonna really rock hard when it hits Halloween because I feel like that's the time for Dreamcatcher to shine. But again, they're officially back with their third mini album, Alone in the City. Have you heard that songs yet? And you can go ahead and watch the full music video. The link will be down below in the description for you guys. But again, have you heard the album? You definitely should. And give me love support for that. And now, I'm gonna go with one more female idol that is back at this time. It's gonna be FX member Amber. So Amber, she just did release her own solo single on SM Town. It's called White Noise. So a lot of fans have been anticipating for this song and also for more of her individual work because again, she has been teasing fans a lot on her own social media accounts such as on Instagram and Twitter, but also as entertainment, they, has been, they have been sharing these on their own social media accounts as well. So on top of White Noise being released, she is having her own tour. So you can actually get tickets now. The pre-sales are open at this time. So use the code JACK2. It is case sensitive. So you guys, don't put anything incorrectly or else you won't be able to get entered for the pre-sale. But tickets are on sale right now for pre-sale. So get your tickets while you can before it is too late. And let's go ahead and take a quick moment to watch and listen to that music video for White Noise right here. I'm telling you don't lose your way. Again, Amber is officially back with her solo work, White Noise. Give me love and support for her. And I do have to say that I am loving this so much because when she promotes at FX, you do get to hear her rap, but you don't really get to hear her sing that often. So to have her do her own solo work to sing and rap, I feel like it's a huge blessing. So again, the link will be down below for you guys to watch the entire music video. I hope you gave me love and support for Amber. And again, she is going on her tour very, very soon. So get your tickets while you can. And now let's go over to groups that are preparing for their comeback specifically in October. So remember Icon, I had mentioned that they are preparing for their comeback on October 1st. So at this time they are actually releasing out some teasers. So the title poster is out, which features the title track of their mini album, New Kids, The Final. So it's called Goodbye Road. So I guess it's kind of saying like goodbye to this series. So again, October 1st is their comeback date and they actually released out another title poster and you actually can see what the members look like for this concept. But again, these are only, the teasers are out at this time. So once more teasers are released, I'll be sure to let you guys know. And I wanna let you know, if you saw from the posters itself, you actually do get to see members Bobby and B.I. participate in the title track. So hopefully we get to see that they participated more in the album. But again, once more details are released, I'll be sure to share them with you all once they are available. And now another boy group, or should I say band, is preparing for their comeback. It's The Rose. So The Rose, they're preparing for their comeback for their second mini album. It's called Dawn. So their comeback is set on October 4th. And right now, details are going towards their teasers for their comeback are revealed at this time, such as the track list. So you get to see here, these are the songs that are going to be in the second album. 
And next, that is most important, is going to be the member photos to see what they look like in this concept for their comeback. So the member photos are out at the cinema for all of them. You have Daehyung, Doojun, Hajun, and also Wasung. Woosung, sorry, Woosung. So again, all those photos are going to be available on our website, hypop.com. So go check them out for your own convenience and you can go ahead and save them for your wallpaper. If you want on your cell phone, on your laptop, they are available there for you guys. So their most recent comeback song was Baby and that was earlier this year. So let's take a quick moment to listen to that song to prepare us for the Rose comeback right here. I don't want to hold you back, us, catch you sound at all. Alright guys, so again, that's their most latest song, Baby. If you haven't heard them yet, you should definitely check them out before their comeback date. And I have to say that even though Baby is the most recent song, the song that really got me going and really loving The Rose is Sorry. And that was the song before Baby came out. So again, if you haven't checked them out before, you should definitely do so now to prepare yourselves on when The Rose is officially going to be back. Again, it's their second mini album for October 4th. And now, another group we have been waiting for a long time for their comeback is a girl group. It's Becky Mecky, so from Fantagio. Some fans have been worried if they're going to have a comeback this year. There has been some rumors if there was going to be one, but you guys, it's not a rumor anymore. They're confirmed to have a comeback with their first single album on October 11th. And actually, a teaser is released right now at the time to kind of prepare fans of what kind of concept they're going for. So again, it's their first single album. Their comeback date on a, is on October 11th, and it's called Kiss Kicks. So that is what the concept is going to be, and also what the single album is going to be called. And the last time I've heard from them was all the way back in February 21st with La La La. So it has been quite a long time due to, you know, the complications for the company because they are under investigation right now. But I'm very happy that Weki Meki is still going to be promoting, and they are going to have their comeback. So again, October 11th is their comeback date. Mark your calendars, you guys, because they're coming back very, very soon. And then there's one more idol that is going to be preparing for their comeback. It's going to be a solo artist. We haven't heard from her roughly almost a full year. It's solo artist IU. So IU is preparing for her comeback. Details on when it's actually going to be is not revealed out yet. Other than that, it's going to be sometime in October. So I'm kind of feeling that it might be in late October or in the middle of October. I don't think it's going to be early October because they want to start revealing like those dates and teasers right now. So I feel like it's going to be near the end of October, entering into November is where I feel like they're going to start having some teaser concepts being released and when her comeback date is going to be. Because actually, it has been her 10th anniversary very recently and she did reveal that she's going to be going on a concert tour. And it's going to be going on from October to December and it's going into seven cities. So, whoever's going to her concert, you're going to already be anticipating that they're going to be hearing her new songs. So, congratulations on you for your 10th anniversary. Again, it has been a little bit of a while ago, but for her fans, she is going to be having this concert tour for her 10th anniversary gift to her fans. And again, her comeback date is not revealed out yet, other than that, it's going to be in October. When do you think it's going to be, you guys? Let me know in the comment section down below. So, I did say it has been almost roughly a year since her comeback. So has, this is going to be her first 2018 comeback for this year. Maybe it's going to be another one? We don't know yet, but we haven't heard from her since she had released out a flower bookmark too. And when she did her collaboration with Zico back in July for Soulmate. So I'm very excited for her comeback, are you? Again, it's in October. And the last news I'm going to share with you guys is a little bit more of a heavier topic. If you're following along the news, there's actually an investigation regarding towards a female idol, specifically Gohara. So she's from a girl group called Kata, and she's under a police investigation at this time due to an assault to her boyfriend. So more details are slowly being released, but since they're not fully re released at this time, I'm only going to give you some brief information regarding towards the matter. So roughly around September 14th to the 15th, so there has been some information that she had assaulted her boyfriend so for physical violence and the boyfriend actually went to the social media to dispatch and gave out information saying that you know she actually had assaulted me and now I want to actually bring this out to the news so 
And regarding towards that, he's saying that he never hit her. It was only purely one side that she only hit him. And then afterwards, news came out that she revealed that it was not one side. It was both parties participating in the fight. So regarding towards that matter, he, you have to look at the photos that she had revealed out, especially for her medical report, because let me tell you guys, she is bruised and badly beaten from head to toe. So more details regarding towards like the medical report, you can find it in hypop.com because it is a pretty heavy topic and it's very kind of hard to say exactly what kind of injuries that she have that's reported in the medical report that she had revealed out to the police. So again, more details are going to be revealed very, very soon, hopefully, because she did go to the police and start providing information for the investigation because she did go to the hospital very recently for those treatments and she provided all those reports any data that they need for this investigation so the most latest news that came out is that I don't really believe that she had to do this but she did give out an apology that this all became such a big fuss and big news because it is a personal matter and she did not mean for all this to get out to the public she just pretty wants this all to be solved and just for it to calm down but again, she is very sorry to the public that this all just blew up and hopes that everything will be resolved very, very soon. Again, more details will hopefully be revealed out very, very soon. And again, those information we found down below in the description for you guys if you want to find out more information regarding towards the matter. Okay, everybody, so that is it for today's news. Again, please go over to hypop.com to follow update more news that are released. And you can always join our community where you can talk about your love and passion about K-pop or just really just find out what's going on in the K-pop world. So I hope you all have a fantastic weekend and be sure as always to go over to our YouTube channel because more fun videos are always being released every single week. So be sure to check them out and I'll see you all again next time.